Hi there Year 9 and welcome to the fourth video on the unitary method. In this video we're going to answer similar questions to video uh, 3, however this time we're going to use a calculator because when we're doing our sharing out or dividing it's not so easy for us to do so we're going to use a calculator to do it. So here's a typical question. 8 CDs cost £14, how much, uh, how much would um, 5 CDs cost? Okay, so let's draw ourselves our usual box. Here's our box. We're going to divide it into eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now all of the eight CDs in total cost fourteen pounds, and we're trying to work out what must go in each of the boxes. Now, no whole number can go in here because one added up. Would be four, uh, would be eight. Two added up would be sixteen. So it's in between one and two. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to use our calculator here. We are sharing fourteen by eight, or we are doing fourteen divided into eight parts. So we're going to type in our calculator fourteen divided by eight, and we get for that one point seven five. Now what does it tell us? That tells us in each box, 1.75 must be in each box, i.e. that 1 CD is equal to £1.75. Okay? Now the question is, how much are 5 CDs? So 5 CDs must be 1.75 added together 5 times. 1.75 add 1.75 add 1.75 add 1.75 1.75 1 but a quicker way of doing that would be to do 5 multiplied by or times by 1.75 so tap that in your calculator 1.75 times 5 and you get yourself £8.75 so 5 CDs actually cost £8.75 and you've done a difficult question there ok let's try another one if 6 CDs cost £27, how much would 15 CDs cost? Well, let's have a go. Let's always draw out our picture. It just helps us understand what's going on with the numbers. So we're going to have 6 CDs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All of those 6 CDs cost £27. Okay? Now the question is, what would 1 CD cost? Well, what we can do is we can use our calculator and we are taking 27, the whole lot, and we're sharing it into six equal parts. So we're dividing it by six. So you can type that in your calculator and you get yourself 4.5. Okay? So this is telling me, therefore, that in one box goes 4.5 or £4.50. That's how we would write it, £4.50. So we therefore know that one CD is equal or costs £4.50, right? So the question is, what do 15 CDs cost? Well, it's £4.50 added together 15 times. Or a quick way of doing it is 15 multiplied by £4.50, or 15 times 450, or 15 lots of 450. And if we type that in our calculator, we would get 6 57.5, that's what our calculator says, but we, we relate that back to pounds, 15 CDs are therefore 67 pounds and 50 pence. And we've done another difficult question there. One more and then a few for you to try. Example three, four CDs cost 30 pounds, how much would 13 CDs cost? So a picture for us just to model what's happening. So we've got four CDs, one, two, three, four, and in total those four CDs cost £30, right? How much would thir 13 CDs cost? Well the first thing is we have to work out what one CD costs. So on our calculator we're sharing out 30 and we're dividing it into four boxes, into four CDs. And if you do 30 divided by 4 on your calculator you get £7.50, or 7.5, but that means £7.50. pence. So, we know therefore that one CD must be £7.50, pence, 
So what must 13 CDs be? Well, it would be 13 lots of these, because if each one's £7.50, it'd be £7.50 added together 13 times. Or a quick way of doing it is 13 multiplied by £7.50. Tap that in your calculator, 13 times 7.5, and you get 97.5. But make sure you translate it back into money, because we're dealing with money, so it's £97.50. and pence. Don't forget the zero in the end. And we're done. So now we have built our way up in these four videos to quite complicated questions using the calculator to work out. So here are a few for you to try yourself, and that's the end of this video. So try these and I'll mark them in the lesson. Thank you for watching.